In this video, I am going to walk you through step-by-step -step how you can effectively use the NextLev Chrome extension. We will cover all the features of this tool and how you can effectively use it. If you haven't installed it yet, you can do it using the first link down below in the video description. Once you have it installed, just go back to YouTube and then refresh the page. And you'll see the extension in action. Now, to make full use of this extension, I recommend you to go ahead with the paid plan. You can start a free trial and test all the features for absolutely free. Once you sign up here, it will ask you to choose a pricing plan. The monthly plan will cost $13 per month, and you can save an extra 30% if you go ahead with the yearly plan. For now, I will choose the monthly plan. This will take us to the checkout page. Here, we can access a 14-day trial of this extension. On top of that, we can get an extra 20% discount with the help of this promo code. Simply enter this promo code here, and it will offer you an extra 20% discount. This coupon also works with the yearly plans. All right, now I will enter the payment details and then click on this Start Trial button. And don't worry, your card won't be charged until your trial ends. A few moments later. All right, now that we've started the trial, we are taken to this page. If I click on this Start Using the Extension option, it will take me to YouTube homepage. And now I can use all the premium features of NextLev, but before that, make sure to pin the Chrome extension to your Chrome extension quick action bar. This way, you can quickly open the Actions menu once you're on your YouTube home screen. In the Actions menu, you'll see all the features this extension offers. You can enable or disable these features if you want to. To see how these features actually work, you can simply click on the View Feature option, which will activate the feature. You can also click on this Watch Tutorial option and see a demo of the feature. Right, so now I will walk you through every feature and functionality of this extension. First things first, you'll be able to see the subscriber count for every single channel on your YouTube homepage. This is really good for spotting outliers or small channels that have just recently started and are popping up on your home screen or getting a lot of views. Another thing is obviously views per hour and outlier scores. Those are kind of standard in Chrome extensions nowadays. Next, you'll see this filter option at the top. To use it effectively, you first need to scroll through your YouTube homepage and load some videos. The more videos are loaded, the better this filter option will work. So, once these videos are loaded here, you only need to press filters up here and you'll be able to filter through all the loaded videos on your homepage. Right now, it loaded 80 videos from the homepage. And now I can filter by subscriber count versus view count, which allows me to see channels with very few subscribers and very high view counts. Similarly, I can filter these videos by total views. And you can check the most viewed and least viewed videos. You can also filter the videos by subscriber counts and based on video upload dates too. You can also use the advanced filters from the left sidebar. We can filter shorts and long forms. We can filter videos by a specific subscriber and views range. If I want to see videos that were a little bit more recent like this month, I can just literally filter on that. This is super useful if you're doing, for example, the incognito method where you're trying to find niches by refreshing your home screen and then looking for outliers. Then secondly, what you'll be able to notice is that if you navigate into the next level menu right here, you'll be able to test thumbnails. This is really good if you want to see if your thumbnail stands out. For example, I can upload a thumbnail from my computer. Or I can upload multiple thumbnails too. I can select the device here. I can change the theme here. I can also enter some titles here too. And then I can just literally select either first video or random position for my thumbnail. I will select the random position and confirm. And NextLev will now replace a random video on the homepage so you can test out if your thumbnail stands out. Secondly, if you navigate to the subscription tab, there will also be a filter button right here. If you scroll down on your subscription tab and load in a couple of videos, you can just literally go over to filter again and monitor your competition. If you subscribe to all the channels in your niche, you'll be able to filter through all the videos they are uploading and see how well they're performing. This is super useful. For example, let's say you subscribe to all your competitors. You can see which videos in the last couple of days got the most views. 
It's super good for quickly analyzing your competition. So basically, your subscription tab becomes a research dashboard or competitor dashboard without being super invasive, because the entire extension was designed for you to barely notice it there. It needs to become a part of your daily workflow. That was basically the idea behind the extension. You can also use this filter on the search results. Simply enter the search term in the search bar. Let's search for dropshipping, for example. Now we can use the filter on the search results. This one is automated. It will automatically load 100 or so videos from your front end first. It can take some time to load the videos, but once it's done, you'll be able to filter through all the loaded videos in your YouTube search. This is super useful when you're basically researching and you quickly want to filter by these types of metrics. Now, another cool feature that I completely forgot about was the Shorts Analytics. If you're scrolling through Shorts, what you'll be able to do is see all the Shorts channel stats while you're scrolling. For example, you can see the published date, how many videos they've uploaded, the days since the channel started, and the average views for the last 10 videos or so. Every time you scroll through Shorts, this data updates, and you can see this for each individual channel, making it very easy to research or find good Shorts niches. NextLev will be adding a bunch more Shorts-related features or functionalities in the future. This Chrome extension will also help you analyze videos and channels. Let's say that you are just watching a video on YouTube. If you scroll down, you will be able to analyze the comments super quickly. That's a super neat feature if you want to see what the feedback on the video was and what the sentiment on the video was. Now this video only has 31 comments, which may not be sufficient. So I will go back to my home page and then choose a different video here. This one looks fine. Now, if I scroll down to the comments section and click on Analyze Comments, it will basically show the viewer's feedback and sentiments for this video. It picks out the feedback that the viewers give. For example, in this video, 78% of the comments have positive sentiments. NextLev will also suggest you video ideas based on the questions and discussions that are happening in the comment section. You'll also see what the viewers liked and disliked about this video. This way, you can improve the video if you're making a video on the same topic. You can also see what the sentiment was, what the positive feedback was, and some other suggestions that viewers gave for future topics. All right, now I will show you some of my personal favorite features of this Chrome extension. First of all, we have the thumbnail download option. You can really quickly download and copy thumbnails at the same time by pressing one button. Not only does it download the thumbnail, but it also copies it to your clipboard, which is even better. You can paste it into Photoshop or Discord, and it also saves it to your computer, so it does two things at the same time. Another thing that's super useful is the scripting feature. When you click on it, it basically opens the transcript. Let's say you want to copy the transcript really quickly. You can copy that by just pressing one button without having to manually remove all the annoying things in the transcript. You can generate the topics that the video discussed and get the summary for the video really quickly. These are all very nice time savers if you are doing research or you're trying to copy a script to use in ChatGPT. Not only that, if you see an interesting scene in the video, you can really quickly screenshot the frame. What it will do is literally screenshot the frame and you'll be able to save that to your computer as well. These are some of the best time-saving features of NextLev. NextLev offers some cool features for competitor research too. To use them, we first need to open a channel tab on YouTube. I will use this channel for example. Next, I will go to the video tab. Here, let's say that if you want to share some inspiration with your team or a thumbnail with your team that you really like, you can literally just press the three dots next to the video and then click on screenshot. What this will do is basically allow you to take the thumbnail screenshot. You can also change the background to make it look pretty. Then you can literally download that screenshot to your computer really easily. By the way, I forgot to tell you that you can use this feature to download thumbnails from the YouTube homepage itself. Next, you'll see these similar channel and analytics options here. What similar channels does is that it analyzes the channel and finds all the similar channels in that same format or niche. It's super useful. As soon as you press the search button, it will find all the similar channels. You'll also be able to check important metrics, such as average views per video, average monthly uploads, and much more. Next, we have the Analytics tab here. 
and then you'll see this camera icon here. This can be used to take channel screenshots. If I go to the video tab and then click on this camera icon, it will take a screenshot of the page, and then you can customize the background and then download it. All right, now let's talk about the analytics feature. The analytics tab is super useful. What you can do here is obviously see the channel data, but also see the channel revenue, top geographies, and age and gender of the viewers watching the channel. For example, if you click on channel RPM, it will show you the projected RPM for the long form videos on this channel. You can see the last 28 days views on this channel. And if you press on channel revenue, you can see that this channel made approximately $4,800 last month. And the top geographies were the United States, United Kingdom, India, Canada, and Australia. This is what the viewer profile in terms of age and gender will tend to look like on these types of channels. I have to admit this is not 100% accurate. It can make mistakes. I would say it's about 85% accurate in most cases. But again, it's a prediction. It can't always be right. But it's by far one of the best revenue and audience prediction models that are currently out there on the market. If you're trying to find good niches and want to analyze what viewers are watching this channel or where the viewers are from, you can quickly pull that up by just pressing the reveal button, which is super useful. Now, you can simply go through any channel and then access these important data about their channel. Nextlev also offers some other features that you can access on YouTube Studio. So, let's go to our YouTube Studio now. Here, the first thing you'll notice is this camera icon. This will allow you to capture your latest video performance, which you can share with others. Next, we can go to the Analytics tab here, and we can screenshot the analytics from here. Of course, you'll get some extra options here. This will give you complete control on what info you want to share and what details you want to hide from the screenshot. Now, the next really cool feature is being able to combine all your channels into one dashboard. If you press the Combined Analytics button, it will take you to this page, and once you press Go to Analytics, you'll be able to connect all your channels into one YouTube dashboard. You'll be able to see all your channels' analytics combined into one graph, as well as real-time views, your top-performing content, and much more awesome stuff into the analytics dashboard. You can simply connect to your YouTube account, and it will merge all your analytics into one dashboard. This is a super awesome feature to those who are running multiple YouTube channels and want to keep track of them. The best thing is, that there are no privacy issues with the Nextlev Chrome extension. It's clearly mentioned in their privacy policy and terms of service pages that they won't sell or reuse your data. So you can be sure that you won't face any issues whatsoever. Now, another really nice and time-saving functionality that a lot of you already know about is being able to place mid-roll ads really quickly. What you'll be able to do is just go to your mid-rolls, press remove ads, and let's say you want to place 30 ads. You can just literally press 30 ads and press add ads, and it will automatically add that to your mid-rolls. You can just literally press continue. After that, there's another feature that I really like, which is being able to compress thumbnails that are too big. Let's say you upload a thumbnail that is too large in size. There will be a pop-up that says compress thumbnail. After that, you can just compress your thumbnail automatically in the YouTube studio itself. By the way, as I was recording this video, Nextlev has just launched another feature for their Chrome extension users. With this update, you can now organize and save videos, thumbnails, and even channels as a swipe file for research purposes. This is a really cool feature. Let's say you are on the YouTube homepage, and you suddenly found a video of your liking. You only need to click on the three dots and then click on this Save to Swipe File option. Here, you can select the video or the thumbnail option. Next, you can also add a description here. Basically, you can add a note here for this swipe file. For example, I liked the video format and the thumbnail style as well. So I will type it here for future reference. Next, we can add tags to this video. Since this video is related to Instagram growth, I will tag it accordingly. I can also create a folder here, which will help me to keep the similar videos in one place. And then I will hit the Save button. Now, to access the swipe file, I only need to click on this extension. And then click on this Swipe File option. This will open up a new tab where you will be able to access all the saved files. And if you click here, you'll be able to access the details of this file. 
you can watch the video from here. Or you can download the thumbnail by clicking on this download button. And that's not all. You can even save an entire channel data as a swipe file with just a click of a button. For example, this is a channel that I want to save as it uses a different format and thumbnail style in its video. To do that, I only need to click on this NextLev icon here and then click on Save to Swipe File option. Now the NextLev extension will take some time to gather the channel data. And once it's done, we can add a description, tags, and create folders for this channel. And once all the details are filled, we can hit the Save button. And this channel data will be saved in our swipe file. All right, we have saved the video data, and then we also save the channel data using the swipe file feature. But the cool thing is that the swipe file feature also helps you to save specific parts of the video. To show you how it works, I will simply open a random video on YouTube. Here, you'll see this icon right beside the like button. If you click on it, it will open up the swipe file. And as you can see, it is showing the option to save a specific part of the video. Here, I only need to enter the starting time and then ending time. And then I can add notes for future reference. And just like this, you can save all the interesting things from other channels and then use it to improve your own video content. NextLev will also allow you to share these swipe files with your team members, and they'll be adding many more features in the future. You can access the thumbnail compressor, monetization checker, and auto ad placement features for absolutely free. But for other features, you will need to continue with the paid plan. I recommend you to try the paid plan at least once, and then you can cancel if you feel that you don't need the paid features. And if you decide to upgrade to a paid plan, I recommend you to go ahead with the yearly plan. The yearly plan gives you a 30% discount. On top of that, you can use this coupon code, which will give you another 20% discount on your order which means you'll be able to save around 50% on your purchase. So make sure to go ahead with the yearly plan. NextLev is continually bringing handy features for YouTube channel owners. And once they will reach more features, I might create a second part of this video as well. So if you are liking this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel as well. If you have any questions, you can navigate to the YouTube Faceless Discord and ask that question to the NextLev team directly or you can send an email to contact at nextlev.io. That's basically the entire tutorial, so I hope you will find this Chrome extension useful. Thanks for watching this video, and I will see you in my next video.